guys, so welcome to my favourites video. I usually have 10, but I could only put together 9. So instead of forcing it, we're going to go with 9. So the first favourite of last month was this top, which I featured in my last haul video. And this was only £6 from Boohoo, which I thought was really good. It just goes with so much. It's a really good staple. As previously mentioned in my last favourite, I've been loving a pink lip. And I'm about to show you one which I'm not wearing, which is slightly annoying of me, so I'm really sorry. But I have been loving the Lime Crime Centrifugia. I think I said it right. And it is this amazing pink colour. In my previous videos, I showed a Barry M1, a MAC Rebel, which is purple, Topshop All About Me. So I've been loving the purpley pinky tones. And this I really, really like. I find the staying power of it is quite good. I do find it dries out my lips a bit, but... That happens with most lipsticks for me, but this is a lovely, lovely colour. I have been wearing these so much since I got them. American Apparel had 20% off, so I had to get them. I tried them on in store and fell in love with them, but they're £74 full price. That's a lot of money. I size down for these personally because you get them in your size, they can feel fine, but they stretch and I like them skin tight so I size down. They fit better around the ankle than two. Um, that's my personal preference and they're such a nice colour. Aren't they amazing? So another favourite of last month was the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. I'm sorry this is dirty. Hmm. That's the trouble when I feel like I want to put my makeup on quickly. I do prefer and love using brushes. But I'm not very good at cleaning them, so when I've used it a few times, I know I have to clean them. So then I put them to one side and leave them to have with this. And then I go back to using my hands. Same with the buffing brush. Uh, oh, they're dirty, I'm sorry. I thought I'd do something a little bit different, and it's not an item, I can't show it to you. But last month, which you will see in an upcoming vlog, I went to the Sanderson Hotel for high tea. I didn't know what high tea was. I had to google it. It's lunch between four and six I think. I've actually forgotten it again. But it is amazing. It was Mad Hatter's theme and it was just amazing. There was Drink Me Potion. There was all these different just, oh, I can't even describe it. It was just amazing and that the waitress came over and explained each a level of food and there's these mini sandwiches and Oh, it was just amazing. I'll insert a picture. Of course I Instagrammed it. But I thought that was quite cool to include something a bit different. Maybe I should start including some like experiences. A little bit different, mix it up a bit. Something again I can't show you because I haven't got it yet. I haven't decided. Buyer, buyer bags. I shot their last collection. Again, something coming up in my next vlog. Oh, there's this rucksack and it's so nice. And what I love, because I've gone out on about buyer so much, because I have so many of their bags and the woman is amazing. It's just her making all the bags and she's so lovely. And yeah, oh, the new collection is amazing. But what I love about buyer is that, so you have the bag and then you can be like, oh, I want it in this colour, or you can be like, I want the lid in this colour, or the sides, or whatever. Basically, you can customise the bag, change the different sections for different colours. You can, ah, oh, whatever you want, getting excited. Lining, you can change that, you can have it personalised, you can do everything. So basically, I want the rucksack. I'm thinking mauve leather. For herself, she did a black leather with a black croc lid. It looked amazing. We kept throwing the word premium around because it looked really good. I thought maybe white with mauve leather. Did someone hear me say that? Because someone got that recently. I was stalking her Instagram and she made that for someone. Um, but then I was like, oh no, I want to be different. So I'm not going to tell you guys what I want to get in case someone gets it before I do. But I really want one of those. You could tell I was running out. I just put crop tops. <laughs> Although the first thing I showed was a crop top. Basically, I've been buying loads of crop tops. Perfect for this summer. I'm wearing one of them at the moment from American Apparel, which I got off Depop for much cheaper. Basically, crop tops were something high-waisted, high-waisted shorts, high-waisted jeans. And I'm dying right now. All I want to wear is crop tops and shorts. We are having a heat wave in the UK. Crop tops. I was running out of stuff. I should have just made it things. So I usually do an app, but 
I've just been addicted. Been addic that <laughs> words. I've just been addicted to the usual apps. So instead, what I've done before when I've not had a favorite app, I have said some favorite YouTubers. So for this, I have picked three. I have really been enjoying watching Kick PJ, who one of my other YouTube friends recommended me. As I obviously film lots of uh, fashion and kind of stuff, but I do also like watching other people in fashion and also people into beauty and then people that are nothing related and they're just entertaining. So Kick PJ is one of them. Also, the amazing Phil and Dan is not on fire. I think I actually heard them on the radio, then found them on the YouTube the YouTube, they're really good. So I want you guys to recommend me some YouTubers which are different from fashion and beauty. So let me know yours below because I wanna find more awesome people to follow because sometimes it's nice to just break it up a bit and not always watch fashion. So my favorite song has been Hideaway by Kaiser. Am I saying it right? And also, have you seen the Radio 1 Greg James, um, the Radio 1 presenter, his version? I was in stitches, like, well played for him. That is so, so amusing and in one take, that was pretty good. So those were my favourites of last month. I am sweating right now, I think by mascara. I've tried something different and put mascara on my lower lashes, but then I think it's transformed transfer, transferred, transferred to underneath. So can like any, I can't speak. Huh, I think I'm overheating. Basically, my mascara is transferring onto my face. Could anyone recommend me a mascara from your bottom lashes which doesn't do that? That's why I don't usually wear mascara on my lower lashes, because of this. And I think it's happening. Oh, I'm just gonna go now. I am so hot. So I hope you like my favourites. Please suggest things below which I have asked you to. Please comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.